welcome to the Dana Raider Golf School. My name's Andrew Kiger. I'm here to help you with the fourth fundamental in the series. We've already done posture, grip, and alignment. Now it's time for ball position, okay? So after you've taken your grip, you've gotten your posture, you've got a pretty good alignment, you need to make sure that ball is in the right position. We've got four different positions here that we're going to take a look at, and I'm going to show you how to perfectly position that ball for each club in your back, okay? So let's take a look down here. Start with my low iron, this is my 7 iron, and we're going to position it in the same place we're going to go pitching wedge through 7 iron on this first ball. So let's take a look at these four balls down here at the bottom. Okay. So we've got ball 1, ball 2, ball 3, and ball 4. Okay. The first ball, that's going to be for the 7 iron through the sand wedge. Okay. All low iron. Okay. At this first ball position, we get our good grip, we get our good posture, we put our feet together to help us establish the right ball position. So once you've got it in the middle of your stance, in the middle of your feet, you're going to take an equal step to the side and to the side, and that ball position should be right in the center in between your heels. Don't try to take a look at the toes. Some people get their feet ducked out too much or too little. Make sure you monitor your ball position with your heels. That's the best way to do it. So right here I've got it in the middle of my stance. My feet are about shoulder width apart. And for that 7 iron through pitching weight, it's going to be right in the middle of our stance. Okay? So that's number one. The second one, we're going to go and grab our 5 iron. Okay? That's for the long iron. So 5, 6, 4, 3 iron. We're all going to be placed about one ball forward. So after we've taken our grip and our posture again, we're going to establish the ball position for that 5 iron. So it's going to be one ball four. How do we do that? So when we're establishing our ball position again, we're going to take a little step or a smaller step than we did before with the left foot and a little bit bigger step with the right foot so that we get one ball four of the middle of our stance. Okay, as you can see, that ball is going to be one ball four. This is the middle right here. That ball is going to be one ball four of the center of my stance. Okay, so that's ball number two. Ball number three, okay, we're going to come back here for the hybrid. The hybrid's going to be a little bit more in between these two balls here. Hybrid's played more like an iron, so it's just a half a ball ahead of that second ball we just showed. So that's where the hybrid's going to be. And then for the three wood and other fairway woods, it's going to be one, two on that third ball. So we put our feet together again, we take a little step, and then a bigger step, and we're trying to make sure that that ball position goes forward in our stance, two balls, okay? So that's going to be two balls, four to middle, all right? And then we set up a little bit like that for our three, but I hope everybody can see that. So the last one is the driver ball position, and it goes forward the most. Okay? It's going to be on that one, two, three, fourth ball ahead. So what you do, you put your two feet together like so. You take a baby step, the smallest step so far, and a big step with the right foot. Notice I got a little bit wider with my feet. With the driver, it's better to get a little bit wider ball position so that you can get your center behind the ball to lift that ball up in the air a little bit more and catch it on the up stroke. Okay? So if we're practicing, we got three balls down there. Put our feet together like so, baby step, big step, and that ball is going to be just off the left heel for our driver position, okay, just like that. Hope everybody can see that at home. So, after you've practiced your ball position, I want to show you uh, a couple of things to watch out for when you're doing these ball positions and practicing. Uh, when my students practice this, I want to make sure that their hand position and their posture stays relatively the same. So, I'm going to bring all these clubs back in here for you. Okay. We've got the driver, the three wood, the hybrid, okay. the seven iron, and the five iron. Okay. Notice the difference in lengths. Okay. All of these clubs are much different in length. And notice the difference here in my hand position. For all these clubs, the hand position, I would say, is just about ahead of the zipper so that you have more forward shaft length with the 7, the 5, and the hybrid, and then just a little bit of shaft lean on the three wood, and about level or slightly back with the driver. 
And notice my hands don't go forward as the ball goes forward and stay in relatively the same position just ahead of the zipper. Okay? One other thing to take a look at, a lot of people say, well, shouldn't I be farther away from the golf ball as I change clubs? Sure, you should be farther away from the golf ball, but take a look here and see the difference here between the clubs. My posture is relatively the same. Okay? I don't need to be going and changing my posture too much for the driver. It's going to stay relatively the same. And we want to make sure that as that ball position moves forward and we get further away from the ball, our distance from the handle doesn't change that much at all. It's going to be about underneath my chin is where we'd like to have that. So that will set you up with a better ball position for your woods, your irons, and your short irons. So make sure you remember that. And next time you get on the golf course, do that routine that I showed you. Put your feet together on every single shot like they do on the approach. You'll see it do it every single time. It'll help you not only with your ball position, but also with your alignment as well. So feet together, little step, big step for the driver, equal steps for the short irons, and then monitor how big or little the steps need to be with the short iron and the 